Well, hello everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's Friday and it's February 5th already. It's been a weird week for me and this is why this vlog is starting so late. It should be just basically a weekend vlog, but I um, was off yesterday and I went and I got uh, my stitches removed from a periodontist and that was great. And I can now eat solid food and real food. So after I ate yesterday, not long after that, I fell asleep. fell asleep and since I'm doing two buddy reads at the moment I read after that and yeah went to bed got up came to went to work this morning and basically did the exact same thing I have so many things that I have to do and I didn't get done my February TBR was going to be up um, a couple of days ago and um, while I was editing it I said no I cannot put this up Nobody can understand what I'm saying. I felt like I was lisping. I felt like people wouldn't be able to understand what I was saying. I felt like my tongue was two sizes too big for my mouth and the words were just not coming out. Right, so I needed to refilm that and I was going to Thursday and then I was going to on Friday and today's Friday and nothing because I fell asleep. So upset about it but things happen and I just I guess I have to get it done when I can get it done and hopefully I guess have a few more videos up next week I hope I hope I can get this all worked out and get caught up on my videos but to what I am reading I am buddy reading with Jen for the Cotting Me Secret, Cotting Me Secret by Hazel Gaynor, and um, we're almost done. We're almost done this book, and it's been interesting. Um, I enjoy the present day because it's uh, back in 1917, and then present day, and um, I'm liking the mystery. <coughs> excuse me, mystery and intrigue of uh, the present day. And how she's finding out about the fairies. Sorry, that was Watson. And um, I do enjoy the past as well because we're learning about the fairies. And I mean, it's the whole purpose of this book. Um, but I tend to find that it dries on a little bit during those portions. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just... Uh, the time that I'm reading it because I'm reading it at night and maybe I'm just overly tired and and stuff but I am enjoying it um, I'm looking forward to finding out what happened and what's going on so yes hopefully only a, like another day or so maybe two days and that book will be finished I'm also buttery buddy buddy reading a book with um, a girl at work when she saw my video for my unread books of 2020. Um, she found this at the library, so we're buddy reading A Study in uh, Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. And um, as you can see, we're almost finished this one. I shouldn't lose my light. So we're almost finished this one, I think. Um, again, another couple of days. Um, but we're not pushing it either because we both work tomorrow and if we get, don't get them read, our chapters read for tomorrow, then that's okay too. I mean, you know, not pushing it either. She's got the next one on hold from the library as well. So we will see what happens there. It's an interesting take on, um, Watson is going crazy. It's an interesting take on um, Sherlock Holmes because Charlotte is a descendant of Sherlock Holmes and then uh, Jamie Watson is a de uh, descendant of 
uh, Dr. Watson. So yeah, it's interesting. And they're uh, at school together and, and they run into uh, a mystery. Um, of course, someone is murdered and it goes from there. And I do like myself a good murder mystery and uh, detective series, a good uh, crime novel, all of those. Yeah, I like them and they're fun. So we're both enjoying that one. There are things we don't want to happen because it is a Y Y A book. It is a young adult book, but it's still fun. Um, before I get to that one, I'm still list or trying to get through Aliens in My Garden. I'm on chapter ten. No, I'm going on to chapter eleven. I was trying to even read one chapter a day, and because I've been falling asleep, that's not happening either. Sorry, I'll get there. And then I have also, sorry, as I line there, trying to get my phone to click on. I have finished an audiobook. I finished the audiobook of Mr. Churchill's Secretary. And this is by Susan Alaya McNeil. And it is a series. So it's the Maggie Hope series. And the next book in the series is Princess Elizabeth Spy. So I'm um, looking forward to that one, I think. Most of these books are available from my library right off the bat. So I don't have to worry about those. I can wait a little bit and um, hopefully it'll still be available. So that's what I've done. I've gotten some of my crocheting done as well. Yeah, so, so far this week I've finished a book. That's not bad. And hopefully, because today is Friday, so Saturday and Sunday, that's two days. Hopefully I'll get two more books finished by then or close to that. So that's looking good. Hmm. This is the first week of February, right? Yeah, so not bad at all. Um, yeah, hopefully though, I don't continue napping because that's not a good thing. Um, I get nothing done. I've done some other stuff around the house as well. Um, I'm trying to find a new series to watch on Prime because I, as I told you before, have finished Midsummer Murders and yeah. So now I'm looking for something else and of course uh, people have, have done given me some suggestions and of course they're not on Prime so I can't watch them. But hopefully I will find something there or I'll watch a movie or something. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. I can't believe I didn't find start this vlog on Thursday. And I mean, it's dark and depressing out right now. It was uh, snowing a little earlier when I came home from work. So tomorrow, of course, is Saturday. So it's a long day. And um, yeah, then, well... Next week, my hours get cut once again, and so I don't go to work till Friday. I work Friday and Saturday. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, I can get a lot done next week since you know, I'm not working as much. And, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it here and leave this short dish, and I will see you again tomorrow and catch you up. Hello, everyone. It is Sunday. It's Sunday already. It is February 7th and it's the last day of this reading vlog. And what did I do? I only started it on Friday and that's the only clip that I have for this week. What happened to that? I know. I've been having a real hard time. So I'm getting ready to start my day today. It is already 12:30. I have accomplished stuff today. I've um started writing in a day timer because I got a day timer from one of my subscription boxes for this year and I've started writing things about the books that I've been reading uh, each month. So I'm not sure how that's going to work because there's only a few note pages and I seem to really write too much. So I might have to um, come up with a better way of doing that 
in the future. But anyway, what have I accomplished? I'm going to go and walk to uh, my normal filming area because I'm about to film and that is where I've put all my books, of course, because um, I have to refilm my February TBR. I know. I have to refilm my February TBR because this mouth did not work, so I had technical difficulties talking. And I'm still kind of having a little bit, because every time I touch the palate of my mouth, sometimes I, I stumble on some words. But it's going to have to be better than it was the last time I tried filming. I tried filming the last Sunday, and I was going to put it up during the week. And that's why there was no video this week, because it sucked when I went to editing it. Editing it. See? Not being able to talk. But anyway, I wanted to catch you up on my reading. So let me just take a seat here and see how this goes. So I am buddy reading The Cotting Room Secret by Hazel Gaynor with Jen. And I have finished this book. I finished this book last night because I couldn't... I couldn't put it down at the end and I ended up finishing it. We were, I think, supposed to finish it today, but I went a little ahead of myself and I really did enjoy this. Um, there was, I liked the story of the fairies and um, what had happened and that was the past portion of this book. And the present um, portion of this book is about Olivia and um, she inherits her grandfather's bookstore in Ireland when um, he dies and that's where she comes across the stories and she's trying to put it together and I enjoyed it a lot. I thought that sometimes the um, past portion dragged on a little bit um, but still enjoyable. I still enjoyed this one. Um, I also Got these all out of order now because they're for my TBR. Um, I also finished a study in Charlotte last night that I'm buddy reading with a friend of mine, Stephanie, and um, I really did enjoy this one. I do like a really good Sherlock Holmes retelling. Um, I like when the roles are reversed and the Holmes character is female, so really enjoyed this. Liked the dynamic between the two main characters which is uh charlotte and jamie and um yeah i don't want to say too much because it's going to be my wrap up but i don't know it's the whole month away um but i don't want to give too much of it away but we are both looking forward to the next book and um yeah we're going to be reading that one soon as well and then i also started uh, the Mitford Murders. This one here I've only gotten through two chapters because I was reading it uh, one night when um, I fell asleep. Um, yeah, so and I believe that was last night. Last night or the night before. Um, but yes, so that's what I've gotten done so far. I'm um, also, I believe I've told you, I've also finished Mr. Churchill's Secretary and that's the start of a series and I really really enjoyed that so yeah there's my cozy mysteries love a good mystery which seems to be almost everything that I've got reading the last couple months not everything because there are some other books in here but um I did I really enjoyed it I liked um the historical fiction aspect of it because of course it's Mr. Churchill's secretary and it's during World War II and I, I just really enjoyed the female lead which is Maggie Hope and um yeah so I'm looking forward to the next ones and um I will be listening to those audiobooks very very soon because they're all available at my local library like on the Libby app except for uh book five so there's right now there's nine nine books out and there's a tenth one coming out i believe 10 or 11 anyway um so i'm gonna have to look for book five i know it's on audible but let's see if i can find it somewhere else maybe not but i don't know why 
my <laughs> Libby app never has it. There's a lot of times where they don't have the full um, series because I had the Dresden files as well. And there was one book, I think, out of the Dresden files that they didn't have as well. And it's like, really? Like, just have them all. Or there's um, series where they put some of them under one heading. So you look at them and you find the first three. And then you're like, well, where's book four? And then when you type in the actual name of the book, it comes up. But book four, five, and six or whatever are on another list. And it's like, why can't you just combine them and make it a little um, user-friendly? A little more user-friendly? But anyway, it happens. And what are you going to do? As long as you keep trying to find your books, eventually, hopefully, we will find them all. So, yes. And I was speaking to Julie this morning from Hungry Bookworm, and she mentioned that there is a March murder mystery, no, March mystery madness that goes on every year. So I might have to look into that because you know me and my mysteries and yeah. So we will, we will see how far I can get on that. And I've got some other work that I'm planning on doing in regards to uh, booktube and stuff like that. And I need to get some stuff done around the house. But since I don't work until Friday, I think I have some time to get it done. But I really want to get at least a couple of videos uh, filmed today so that I can have them up and going because... If this doesn't work today, I'm going to be very upset. I think I'll be fine. But anyway, I'm going to leave that here now and I will catch you up uh, later on. Hi guys, it's Monday. It's February 8th and I'm going to end last week's reading vlog today. Um, I was going to end it last night, but it was so dark and... Um, I didn't really get a lot accomplished until later on so yeah and of course it's already late today because I woke up this morning and I wasn't quite feeling well so I took it easy this morning and yes so let's wrap up this week's reading vlog which was technically a weekend reading vlog because I mean I started it late I'm ending it late it's life it's just what happens. So I'm still uh, carrying on with Mitford Murders. Um, I'm on, what chapter am I on? Oh, sorry. As I, um, I'm on only on chapter five and um, it's getting good now. So yeah, things are starting to happen. And um, Louisa, that poor girl, she, I mean, I'm only on chapter five and she doesn't have a very good life. I mean, her uncle, something else something else but anyway let's not get into that also my friend and I from work we picked up the next book in a study of Charlotte which is the last of August and um, we were I was supposed to read the first two chapters in this and uh, sorry Stephanie I read the first three so I'm um, one ahead um, they're so quick and so easy to read that I, I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. So, yes, doing that. I actually, this morning, I know, not it wasn't sun, Sunday, but this morning read some more of Aliens in My Garden because I really do have to catch up on this one. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting story and I understand the ideas. And they're, they're great ideas, but I'm struggling with the way it's been put together. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. It's just uh, all over the place for me, and it's hard for my mind to wrap around things. Um, but I'll go more into that once I finish it, because it might make sense once I'm finished. Does that even make sense? I'm not 100% sure. Um, anyway, got this spot on my glasses. So, yes. So that's okay. This week went by really well. I finished three books, um, well, two books and an audiobook. Um, I started two more books. So far, February's pretty good. Um, I don't want to say it's good and then 
I go downhill from there. But I've had a really good week. Um, so this week, um, you know, from Sunday, we're ending this on Sunday, um, was um, good in reading, but bad in some other things. And today I want to get things going um, over in this area here because I want my dining room table cleared up so that I have all my reading stuff on there. Because I mean, it's only me, so I'm gonna use excuse me one little area of the dining room table. So yeah, and I still have to fold my laundry that finally dried from last night. Um, so I won't show it to you because there's laundry everywhere. Um, I want to clean that up, get it so that I can focus on all my reading thing. Like not reading at the table, but all writing down all how much I've read and all my booktube stuff. So yeah, and hopefully I can start doing Instagram photos again. But anyway, that's what I wanted to accomplish last week as of the 7th, but I didn't get a lot of it done. And we'll just continue on next week, which is technically this week. Is that confusing? That's confusing. Anyway, I had a really great week. I hope you did as well. And I hope you had a really good time. And I will see you again soon.